Guys, the Ludi Guna. Do you guys remember a young Chilean player, Marco Elhendi? I hope I said his name right. He's now moved to Mexico for Nika, Nika Shah or something. I can't say these names, guys. Anyways, he's moved to a Mexican side. They've loaned him back to the side he was at. Why Why is that of relevance? He's 18 now, so he could be 19. We've tracked him since he was 16. For the last two or three years, he's constantly been a, a trial at Arsenal. You've seen him. You've seen him train with the first team. Obviously, Alexis Sanchez is here, so he might be able to gas him on that front. I think he was even here this preseason. So it was looking like someone we was going to sign. He caught the eye in the 2015 Under-17s World Cup. He was the top goal. Despite being one of the youngest, he was their top goal scorer. I believe he got two, three goals for Chile, and he was their captain. So you can see why. Typical Arsenal player. I mean, before I say why he's a typical Arsenal player, typical Chilean player work ethic he's not the tallest work ethic kind of not strong but he's not afraid to try and put his body around typical arsenal player the technical skills are there the vision's there the work rate's there the vision like i just said is there i have to say that again man he's got all the the, the balance all of the typical things we need for what reason he didn't join us i don't know and i really don't know why he's not here why is he not here guys like why is he not here I don't know, but he's moved to Mexico, a bit of an odd move. I mean, if you have Arsenal, then you probably have some other European sides chasing you. You've now gone to Mexico to be loaned out. We don't know the motives behind that, so we can't judge a man. But it is a bit baffling. And it is a bit baffling if that we've been courting someone for um, since he was 16 or more so for two plus years and he's not here. Now, my second player, I, I actually didn't want to bring this in, another, in, in, in the same vid, but I might as well. Um... Football manager legend, Maximilian Romero. We we all know football manager legend. Signing him a football manager, guys, he becomes a mad striker. Allegedly, in 2015 or 14, I believe, we had a, a, a six million, a 4.6 million, anything from 4.6 to 6 million pounds deal agreed. He injured himself. I think he hurt his knee ligament, so it didn't happen. So where is he? Like, where is he? 17, 18 season. He started off with, in five appearances, he got four goals. He made his debut at 17. 16, 17, 13 appearances, one goal, one assist. He was playing on the, flank, on the flanks right wing at the time. 15, 16, 11 appearances, 3 goals. What I like about him from what I've actually seen in real life with the clips is the movement. If he's anything like how he can be a football manager, I mean, it's, it's important we take football managers seriously because some clubs actually use it. We can't judge of just off that because it's nonsense. Um, if he can be like that, then he can be a madness. I haven't seen an extensive a lot of this play. Of course, I'm not gonna. you guys know I'm not the sort of person to pretend. But if he can be anyone like the football manager bases, yeah. Um, why is he not here? On the basis that he's a young, promising South American striker with, based on the game, world class potential or top class potential. What what happened? And I understand if the, if the move got scrapped, got scrapped because of his knee injury. But that's 2015. Where is it now? We're 2017, 18, soon coming in a couple months. What are going? Two South American players missed. And when you see the amount of players that left, if we're trying to go down this English route, fair. But these are two players we've let numerous set of mids come out of the academy. Why not sign him? In regards to the strikers, Mavi Didi has gone on loan and Ketio's there, but he looks like a class above them if he were to base it on this. His movement is good, he's a good finisher, he can play on the flanks. For me, he can, he's decent in the air as well. This is what I know from real life. My, of, of course, I know him more from the game than real life, and I can only give you guys the minimum I know, but on the basis that these are two promising South American, might, might not be world beaters, but two South American promising players that could have been te teed up the deal for less than that. For less than a... For less than a um, a, 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 a madness why is he not here like why are both players not here now worse comes to us and they don't hit their potential they make profit but what we could have done is give them a facility and give them the best tools to try and reach their potential i mean when you start growing fruits i'm pretty sure not every farmer thinks they, there's no guarantee you're going to have the sweet mangoes and the best sugar cane you know if you nurture it you put the water you tend to the crop you have a good chance but there's no guarantees that same logic goes for academy football you give them the best facilities you give them the best molds you give them the best coaching and then you can hope that if the player meets you halfway, they can get there. Now, for many reasons, that doesn't happen a lot of times. But you get the point. But I'm waffling now, guys. Deluded you know, I'm signing out just for no other ones talking about these two players. I'm pretty sure these other YouTubers, they were nowhere interested in these two players. But I'm a real football man. I'm not with the shouting and all of this stuff for you lot to watch me. You watch me because you know I know ball. Deluded you know, I'm signing out. Get in the comments, subscribe, like, share it to your mum, even if she watches football. I'm out.